Hello, salut, ciao, hola, oi. If you don't know me and if you don't know my channel, my name is Gabriela and this is your Brazilian spot. Here I share with you many things about Brazil, culture, news, language and etc. Okay, everyone tells to Brazilians, oh, you are Brazilian. Please speak Spanish. So because of this, today I decided to react a video that it's just a guy, a, a, a big YouTuber. Apparently he's from Chile, he speaks Spanish, so I will see if I understand this video. Because, well, guess what? In Brazil, we don't speak Spanish. So let's see if I will understand something, if I will understand maybe everything, or if I will not understand anything, which is possible let's see what's gonna happen so this is a video of uh you know partes físicas que solo el 5% de las personas tiene i i think that's how you speak probably and the the, the youtuber is juega germa or juega germa maybe well it's a long video it's like 10 minutes so i'm not gonna watch everything but for sure i'm gonna watch a few things and see what happens so let's start this video i understood um características físicas que la la personas tiene Solamente una parte muy pequeña de la humanidad tiene. O sea, son personas no increíblemente parte. especiales. Antes de pasar, te quiero recordar que puedes escuchar Tregua, mi canción. Te dejo el link ahí en la descripción, ahí te lo dejo. Ah, te paso el dato. Un datazo perturbador, ¿ah? Y empezamos por la primera. Al parecer, si uno pone la mano así, si uno como que arruga la mano, puedes ver que hay un montón de líneas por ahí, por allá. Lo común o normal, entre comillas. Así que tener una línea por acá, luego otra. So it's like Portuguese, línea por allí, por acá. I understand because it's like right, right there, right here, like. Ali, we would say the same in Portuguese. So it's quite similar, some things. In el mundo hay 5% de personas que tienen un agujero en la oreja. O sea, como podemos ver en esta parte de la oreja, tenemos un pequeño orificio. In this case, I can understand because he's showing that. So apparently it's a hole, but I wouldn't know if there was like no image. Que atraviesa eh, esa parte. Por alguna razón, solamente el 5% de las personas tiene esto. Yo no lo tengo, según yo. Según yo, no, no tengo un hoyito ahí. Pero, ok, soy parte del 95% de las personas normalón. Ok, todos conocemos el chiste de que las mujeres ven muchísimos más colores. Normalón, maybe it's something like big normal. You tell me, whoever speaks Spanish and is watching this, normalón is like big normal or normalzão, we would say in Portuguese. So I think it's something quite similar, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing. Es que los hombres, o sea, un hombre ve un color y dice, ah, eso es rojo. Pero una mujer te dice, no, eso no es un rojo, es un rojo vino. Pero al parecer hay un montón. Uh, rojo is um, red or purple? That's a question. Answer me. If we think like in the similarity with Portuguese, then it would be like purple, because we say rojo in Portuguese. But I think for some reason, I think maybe it's red de personas que sí puede ver muchos más colores que okay, lo que las personas en vez de poder hacer esto es un solo hueso que va desde aquí hasta la punta o sea literalmente no pueden hacer esto tienen que vivir toda su vida con el pulgar así o sea imagínense poder agarrar cosas vivir toda su vida so we would say vivir toda su vida so live your, your whole life sin poder doblar el pulgar o sea tendrías que agarrarlo o sea Agarrar. Eso se puede, ¿no? No es lo más difícil del mundo, pero, pero, pero sí, ayuda el hecho de que se pueda doblar ahí, ¿no? Siguiendo con los pulgares, hay personas que nacen sin ningún pulgar. Eso no quiere decir que no nazcan con cinco dedos. Pulgar. O sea, efectivamente nacen con cinco dedos. Pulgar is also, as we would say in Portuguese, uh, similar, actually. We would say polegar, not pulgar. Cinco dedos, pero el pulgar, el cual supuestamente debería estar aquí, no es un pulgar, simplemente... Pero, for example, is something that is really different. Pero, it's más in Portuguese, which is but in English. Es otro dedo que está al lado. Okay. Si me mostrasen esta imagen sin decirme qué es, yo pensaría que es Photoshop, ¿no? Ok, imagínense agarrar algo sin un pulgar, debe ser... Ah, ok, si sí pude. Ok, no está... <risa> ok, obviamente no es lo más fácil del mundo, pero, pero se puede, o sea... 
ojo. Suena raro de decir porque el ojo es una parte sensible y me da como así como, como cosa. Para el parecer una persona. Ojo, I think it's. Yeah, it's eyes. It's easy to understand because he's showing some kind of image in this video and it's like. Yeah. Ojo. Tenemos una persona que como pueden ver nació sin una uña. Al parecer esto no es muy común y creo que pasa. Uña is also the same in Portuguese. So there's like I'm kind of understanding what he's saying, but I could never speak what he's saying as he's speaking because obviously I didn't study Spanish and obviously I am also not a native, but I feel like if I study Spanish I would really learn very fast because it, it's similar to Portuguese but you know when they speak like too too fast and especially I felt like in Spain it was a stronger accent maybe I'm wrong but this was like a feeling that I could understand like Argentinians better than Spanish am I wrong you tell me um if you are from any South American country What do you think? Do you think in Spain the accent is stronger or not? In casos aislados, pero esta persona nació sin una uña en el dedo índice. Como esta persona tiene un buen sentido del humor, se puso un par de ojitos ahí y parece un, un gusanito ahí con ojos y todo bien bonito. Se parece a. I feel like everything that you say ojitos or like itos in Spanish for us in Portuguese would be like inos. So you say ojitos, we would say olinos, you know. Ver, acá tenemos a un hombre que tiene la mitad del bigote blanco, luego tiene las cejas blanco. y las pestañas también blanco. That was something interesting because actually he said blanco and it's something like the B and V thing. It's very confusing, you know. Like some of my friends, they call me Gabriela. And I think I wouldn't, I wouldn't get used with this unless I study for a long time. Piel o algo así en la mitad de los dedos. O sea, como pueden ver aquí empieza la separación de estos dos dedos, empieza esta para acá y estos dos empiezan mucho más arriba. Esta persona como para jugar con con lo que tiene ahí se hizo un tatuaje de indicaciones de dónde cortar. Está chistoso. O sea, me gusta que esta persona. Se... This one I know. He said "en peasant, en peasant." It's to start, right? I, I've learned this somehow. I don't know how. Maybe it's, you know that there are a lot of um, series on Netflix right now that are Spanish, so it's quite good, you know, to to listen the language, even though it's confusing for me because I am like studying Italian and French right now. It would be like very confusing to learn a third language, but it's kind of good to listen, you know. I, I like to to be used with the language. Okay, guys, so what can I say after this video? Well... No, I don't speak Spanish. Still, but I can understand some Spanish. This is a reality. It's a similar language, but Brazil, in fact, is um, the only country of South America that do not speak Spanish. And it's not even our second language. We kind of see some things in the elementary school but it's not really um always you know like it's not everyone and it's like for me i cannot speak spanish if i need to speak spanish i will be like something that i do with friends that i met from chile or argentina is that we speak uh what we call portuñol we just mix both languages and we understand each other But, for example, if I have a common language with the person, uh, as, for example, I do with my Spanish friend, uh, then I prefer she speaks um, English with me and that's better. I prefer just to speak English because I feel much more confident. I want to learn Spanish someday, though. I think it's like... I think it'll be easy to learn. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And thank you very much for watching this video. Ciao, ciao!